Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome now. It was a, it was a difficult weekend this weekend for Hillary Clinton. It really was. Uh, first, while speaking at a fundraiser on Friday, she made a comment that didn't sit too well with some of Donald Trump's supporters. Take a look. You know, to just be grossly generalistic, you could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. <laughs> Now, Trump supporters are very upset about Clinton's remarks. They want her to apologize and also explain what deplorable means. <laughs> but she did. She called half of Trump supporters a basket of deplorables, which would be really bad if Trump hadn't called half of Hillary's supporters a basket of deportables. <laughs> uh, now, the basket of deplorables is not only an insult, it's also the top selling item at KFC. <laughs> now, Today, Trump's campaign released an ad in response to Hillary's remarks, and I'm not sure he's doing a good job of defending his supporters. Here's a clip. The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. People like you, you, and you. <laughs> now, I'm no campaign expert. <laughs> But when your opponent calls your supporters racist, you don't want to be saying people like you and you and you. You know the woman in that video is like, me? <laughs> Although maybe she's bragging about it. Like, hey, did you see me in the new Trump ad? <laughs> they said I'm the xenophobic. <laughs> Um, but if those remarks seemed like a misstep for Clinton, on Sunday she lost her footing altogether because while in New York, Hillary became overheated and had to leave an event to receive medical attention. It turns out that she had been diagnosed with pneumonia on Friday. I mean, this was a scary moment for Donald Trump because he was thinking, oh, God, I might actually have to be the president. <laughs> But today on Fox News, Trump actually said, he said, I just hope she gets well and gets back on the trail. And I'm, I mean, forget Hillary. Is Trump OK? <laughs> I think he has a concussion. Uh, can, like, the truth is, can we really blame Hillary for getting overheated? Like, I was in New York this weekend, and I have to say, it was the most humid, disgusting weather I've ever seen. Like, everyone had that thing. You know when everyone's upper lip gets condensation? <laughs> Like the bottom of an iced coffee. Do you know what I mean? Let's just call it what it is, a sweat moustache, sir. It was a sweat moustache. I mean, it was boiling in New York City. I passed out from exhaustion while I was there, and that was just from tapping my phone to get an Uber. <laughs> like, I just... <sighs> <laughs> um, but, uh... <laughs> some people... <laughs> but speaking of health, I don't know if you saw this, some truly earth-shattering news came out of a recent study, and I can't believe this, where scientists proved that the five-second rule is a myth. <laughs> you know the five-second rule, right? You know the rule that says food falls on the floor, you can't get sick if you eat it within... if it's been there less than five seconds, right? And they're saying the five-second rule isn't real. <laughs> but I will say there's some strong counter-evidence to that, and that is the fact that I am still here. Because <laughs> I don't care. 